everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a fun Jungle Pals card for you. This week on my blog, I am focusing on the Jungle Pals stamp and dies that are available in our celebration catalog. Celebration is January and February 2024, and during that time, you can earn free products with every $50 that you spend. There are some that are free with a $50 purchase and some that are free with a $100 purchase. So if you look in your catalog, I'm actually using three different, I thought I marked my page, there it is, three different celebration items. The Jungle Pal stamp set is free with a $50 purchase and then a, um, the Jungle Pal dies, the coordinating dies are free with $150. So you'd have to spend $150 to get both. Now I am also using the Heartfelt Hellos, which is another free with a $50 purchase. And then lastly, if I can find it, right here, the Most Adorned Designer Series paper. This paper is fabulous. It's gold foil and it's I, I absolutely love it. It's gonna be perfect for Valentine's Day. All right, so that's what we're doing. And we're gonna make kind of a little Valentine's card with our cute little gator. Um, so we're using the Jungle Pals and the Jungle Pal dies, the Heartfelt Hellos, but I'm also gonna use of art and texture on this uh, blue piece. It is an online exclusive. You won't find it in the catalog, um, but you can find it online. It's a great texture stamp set. All right, well, let's get started with our gator. He is cute. He's not a scary gator. He's a cute gator. We're gonna stamp him in memento black on basic white. All right, and then we're gonna color him with granny apple green. I'm gonna start with my light and I'm just gonna start at the bottom. He's gonna be darker on the bottom than he is gonna be, you know what, let's switch over. Then he is gonna, he's gonna be lighter on the top and darker on the bottom. So I'm gonna want to add more layers of color down here on the bottom. So I'm gonna just start here along the bottom, adding color. And as we go, we're gonna just layer color onto our, our gator. Okay, just kind of going in an oval shape there or an, an arc. Be real careful with those teeth. The reason he would be lighter on top is because the sun would be coming down. The light would be coming from the top. Now let's take our dark and we're gonna add even more dark where we would have shadow. So along the bottom for sure and anywhere that overlaps like his legs and also right here under his chin and underneath, oops, I just colored a tooth. Go slow, guys, underneath his mouth, like that. You can also add a little bit of dark to those spots if you want. All right, so now I'm gonna take my light and I'm just gonna flick that dark up. So it's blending up. Let's see, I didn't finish those legs. All right, so now I'm just gonna take it and very lightly go to the top. See how it's very light. We've only gone over the top once, but we've gone over the bottom multiple times. All right, now I'm gonna go back with my dark and do his little bumps, his ridges. Scales, hmm, I don't know what they're called. All right, color those in real carefully. Is there anything else we need? I think that's pretty good. All right, now let's do our die cutting. We're gonna, you're gonna need to do several die cuts for this card. I've done most of them ahead of time for the sake of the video. But let's do this one. Line the gator die up and run it through. There he is. All right, now you're also going to need a postage rectangle. These are new dies, perennial 
posted rectangle. These are new dies that I have used probably on every single project since I've gotten them. I love them. So this one is that one right there. Um, cut out two granny apple green grasses. I call them grass, but I think they're designed to hang from the tree. Either way, they work. Cut out two white flowers. Where's my other one? Here it is. And a flirty flamingo heart, which is from the Give It A Whirl dies. And a balmy blue nested essential shape. This is the second largest. All right, I'm gonna bring over something really cool that's new. This is the glass mat that is available during celebration only in a starter kit. So if you buy the starter kit, this is one of the things that you can get. I haven't been keeping it out the whole time. I filmed the videos because you can see the circle of the light, but I do want to show you how cool it is. It comes with the silicone mat to do, that's great for mixing. Um, it comes with this little um, microfiber cloth, which is really great. And then of course the glass mat. Now I'm going to use it as kind of like my grid paper so I don't mess up my desk. We are again, we're using this Art of Texture stamp set and I am using this one right here. All right, so on this, I kind of wanted it to look like water. I'm gonna stamp and then I'm gonna stamp off onto my glass and then stamp onto my paper. So I'm getting a lighter shade each time because I've stamped some of the ink off. Okay, you can even stamp twice if you want. One, two, let's see how much lighter it is. Yeah, see, you can decide. We'll do, we'll do lighter on top and darker on the bottom. They almost look like crashing waves. Okay, so there. Now, this awesome little microfiber cloth just wipes everything away. Isn't that fun? I love it. It is a, something that I've never had before and I, it's just been really interesting getting to know it and using it. All right, so now we've got our little water. I'm gonna take my liquid glue and along the bottom, I'm gonna adhere my grass there and my grass there. Now they're kind of pointing down, but we're gonna adhere our gator going straight across. I'm gonna use dimensionals. It goes, and again, like I did with a tiger in the previous video, I'm just gonna have him in and out of the grass like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna add two of these flowers, one on each end. And your take your pick tool helps with these little things, especially the next thing that we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a tiny dot of glue, tiny, tiny, and I'm gonna use some of my loose daisies and set them right down in that glue. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's put this heart how about we put the lid back on this so I don't spill it? All right, we're gonna put a glue, a dimensional right here. And I'm gonna take my lemon lime twist skinny ribbon and tie a bow. And we're gonna stick that right there. And then I'm gonna take, let's see, I think I'm gonna take glue dots. We're kind of doing the adhesive backwards here. Instead of putting a glue dot on the back of the bow and sticking it to the card, we're doing it on the front so that we can stick our heart there like that. All right, let's put this card together. Oh, you know what? We gotta do, we gotta stamp our sentiment too. We're gonna stamp this in real red. Love you more. Again, this is a celebration stamp set. And the paper. So here you can see the back is gold, but I do love the front a lot. I've, have, I've actually had a hard time using the gold back 
sides because I love the front sides so much. All right, I'm going to, this is a real red card base and I have cut just one inch strips here, one by five and a half, so it's the length of the card. By the way, measurements will be on a free PDF on my blog, so make sure you jump over there, grab it, and you'll have access to two other Jungle Pal projects. The PDF is totally free. All right, oh no, ah. And then we'll put adhesive on this piece, the plaid. You guys know I love my plaid. Let's line it up. Make sure you've got it equal distance on both sides. It looks like mine is just a little bit too long. All right, now dimensionals again for our blue piece. that and the sentiment can go down here like that and then just because I'm feeling fancy let's put this on the inside and if you wanted to carry it over you could add in I just left it white but you could add in some grass you could add in some water whatever you want but anyhow there you go there is a cute gator card I bet you didn't think of Valentine's when you saw that guy, did you? I think that would make a great husband card. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog. There's a free PDF there for you, two other um, Jungle Pal projects. And let me know if you have any questions. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.